hey guys igor here and in this video i just wanted to make some kind of conclusion to this modeling part of the tutorial and just show you that i didn't abandon the project i'm still there i i, I was modeling all this when i had time because you know i have a full-time job also so in the next few lessons um i will cover uv and wrapping of course maybe one or two videos um, wrapping something simpler and then maybe something more complex so that i can just show all the all the tools and and how i actually unwrapping in in houdini which is really not that bad um for doing something very quick it's it's really good especially if you are used to using triplanar projections in tools like marmoset or substance then it's 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 really fast um but if we are doing like a manual unwrapping, then uh, of course it needs a bit a bit more time to do it. But with the tool set that uh, Houdini recently introduced, and of course over time improved, I, I believe there is a there is a decent tool set that actually can do the job very well. So in the next lesson or two, we will go over that, and then we will start exporting things because exporting things for example in marmoset i believe it's not that straightforward of course exporting just exporting things yeah it's straightforward you go to file export and then export fbx but there are actually some ways that you can um, export like you can export from for example cinema 4d it's it's mostly about hierarchy and and how uh, would you maintain some logical hierarchy when, when exporting to some other DCC? So from Houdini to Cinema 4D, for example. So how would you set up the parent and child and so on? So we will cover that in the in the after the UV unwrapping in the exporting video. And I believe I will also uh, cover some of the texturing, like in Marmoset and maybe Substance, so that you can just i see the workflow at least how i do it and then again importing back in in houdini and then finally rendering with karma um, so that that should be what's coming next um, so yeah guys this project is definitely not abandoned i hope you like what you see here i will in the end share the file if you guys wanna get the file right now which is not like fully ready I still have some some work to do in terms of grouping and setting up materials just send me an email so i will then send you this file no problem if you want to wait if you can wait then just wait and um, yeah guys i believe that would be it for this video hopefully you liked the, the previous videos hopefully you learned something even though i know it's a, not a hollywood production quality but I, I believe that there, there was really plenty of, of tips and tricks and how you can utilize different tools. <laughs> Trust me, there is more to it. So in the upcoming uh, modeling tutorials, which will not be project based until not until the Houdini 20, I will uh, try to actually do something um, much quicker and, and to, to actually have not so long video tutorials which i know most of people don't like but yeah if you guys want to learn then you should be you should not be worried about how much time you spend on a video for modeling one hour is is nothing so hopefully for those who actually watched congrats uh, i'm really happy if you guys learned something and by saying that i, I believe i said everything i wanted for this part and guys, yeah, see you in the next few lessons. And as usual, guys, stay safe and uh, take care. Bye-bye.